so mad. And look, Loaf would be able to catch it. Like, I'm sure Loaf is a good enough player to play with, uh, against items. And uh, speaking of, you, I think item play is so important nowadays. Like, you have to be able to know how to, like, interact and play around items. Oh, there's the first one. There's, okay. you, you know what? You're right. Has to be aimbot. You know, I mean, I, I want to see how many turn of throws he misses. That's more impressive. Oh, true. <laughs> because true, th true. at that point, then maybe we've just been lied to our whole time. Yeah. Loaf is getting a lot of conversions. Yeah, and this is true, right? Wario low, low percent conversions can be pretty brutal. But it's about finding these, like, stocks and finding these, uh, even even at these, like, higher percents. Like, what what do you do as Wario to kill? Exactly. Yeah, and, you, and when you're playing against, like, Peach or Daisy, oh, gosh, look at this. How many is he hitting? Three for three right now. Four for four. My man, his batting average is perfect right now. It does Swing. not stop. The pressure is so real right here. The shield is so tiny, but Lope manages to find a way back to the center of the stage. This can be it. This is the win condition, usually for Wario. Oh, oh. just barely no. missing the back air. And Lope is going to SD, going a little too low, dropping the double jump, and Umeki takes first blood. This is Pokemon Stadium 2. You're not supposed to get pineapple. That's Dreamland. Uh, yeah, that's such a rough situation. Two hits on the yo. I'm drive by. I can't believe. <laughs> yeah, I can't believe he's done it. All right. Yep. He cannot contest with that parasol. It literally like has priority over a lot of recoveries. Or a yeah. lot of hits actually. It's just giant disjointed hitbox. Right here. Okay. Tries to answer the down air. Not able to find anything right here. Now low. Uh, in the back knee. The Okay, that was an amazing fast fall for Loaf right there. Because if he didn't, he would have got picked up by that fair. Yeah, and honestly, Yumeki holding on to those. He's six for six on the turn. What is going Somebody on? Somebody check those eye drops. <laughs> Somebody check those eye drops. <laughs> He's a sniper. He's actually sniping him out of the building. All right, all right. Nice. Good pickup right there with the up air. Very unusual to really kind of pick people off guard or catch people off guard with those up airs. Hey, look. Loaf is in a really good position right now. If you find a rogue Nair or even a rogue up tilt, it can spell doom for Omeki, at least for the second stop. Yeah, and you never, you can never count Wario out too. A comeback mechanic like oh, no. is so dangerous. Gets hit no. by oh, like, gets the back air off the stage. Why, and did, why did it have to be the dot eyes though? Like, God, if it, if it wasn't the dot eyes, he wouldn't have been sent so far. He picked up at the ledge, jeez. This is this is this is Umeki's canon event right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the dot eyes were in his favor. Yeah, and I'll actually, I believe was crowdfunded to fly out here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm actually very happy to see Umeki out here in California. Yeah, true, true, true. So happy to see all these competitors out here. Wow, the strings, and also misses the reset, but <laughs> but gets it with the with the grab. The pressure is so real right here for Umeki. All right. Loaf oh. having to try and get the hit does not want to use Waff too soon because knowing that this is the that's just potentially going to be helping him maybe get the reversal here. But right, Mekki just dodging all these hits, not even getting ledge trumped right now by Loaf. Loaf was looking for a stray hit, but Umeki is just flying all around him. Yeah, I like how confident Loaf is moving right now, right? And you really do have to be super. Con oh my oh, god! Great, you're kidding me. That is not easy to oh, air to air. Nice. That, that is that kills. And just like that, we are having an even game here. All Loaf needs is a couple of hits here, and that walk might actually be the game changer. Oh. Here comes the up airs, oh. missing the air dodge. Oh my oh. gosh, what are you trying to do? <laughs> no, he didn't do it. Okay, thank no. goodness. Wow, wow. Okay, well, hold on. Loaf just, he Loaf didn't even, why yeah. did he do that walk? Wait, hold on. Okay, but unfortunately, it's now going to be very close to call right now. A lot of damage coming out from Loaf, but Umeki still has a chance. Oh, Wait, there's more walk coming out. No, no, no. Yeah, we're, we're, we're chilling right now. Nice. I like these air. They're so, these are so bizarre. Like, we're seeing the these, like, jump air dodges. Okay, slight, tiny reset situation straight into the nair. Very good stuff from Umeki, but Loaf is uh, definitely changing the game, right? Uh, a lot of these jump neutral air dodges to kind of, like, bait out a situation is very interesting to see. Oh, this is such a high-intensity fight. I love it so much. Honestly, it was so scary. Like, you know, to be fair, like, Yumeki and, or not just Yumeki, both characters, Daisy, Wario, Daisy, Peach, however you want to see them, yeah. they both have the potential to kill you at zero. Oh, for sure. And I want to see some more of, like, some defensive play. Um, you know, maybe from both players. From Umeki? Not from no. Umeki. Oh, okay. Uh, from Loaf? Like, Loaf has that know. patience in him to just kind of get Umeki to throw out like the like the Daisy Bomber or you know something, something yeah. he, he's prepared for. Well, okay. obviously not an easy move to, to maybe play. So I've thought about playing against Peach like 
and I, I've been thinking about this matchup for for years now, like it's from Smash Four. Is that sometimes like you kind of just have to not let them do anything, right? Mm. And if you let them float and if you let them intimidate you, you're gonna start losing. I feel like so. I, I do think the game plan right here from Loaf is actually working out pretty well. And honestly, already back Ooh. into a game two, and Loaf is just keeping out the up airs yeah. going. Nice. I like that little slight bit of discipline right there from Loaf. Not expecting uh, Umeki to be able to catch him that quick, but uh, that's all that matters, right? Like if Loaf really sets that precedent where like, hey, I can get this started and then be patient for you. Maybe we can see uh, a game number two in Loaf's favor. Exactly. And Numeki's got Loaf off stage. The recovery here from Loaf, great. Avoiding the down airs here. Numeki has him kind Whoa. of in. Waited for a hard wow. read off match. Yeah, that's insane. Uh, that's also not a move that I see Umeki throw out too often too. Oh, okay, yeah, the Toad is coming now, but luckily Loaf being able to maneuver around it, not giving him a free kill. Yeah, okay. I do kind of uh, expect, okay, okay, back air, yes. Fair enough. That pressure is actually just so unreal. The way that Omeki is able to string that many, like, it's not fair, man. It's definitely, <laughs> it doesn't feel fair. Okay. I am expecting kind of like a rogue back air to come out from Loaf at some point, though. It's a good move for Mario too. Comes out pretty fast. Yeah, it, it, it does. It does hit hard. Okay, onto the platform, but no extension right here. Umeki playing a little bit safe. A there it is. wow dash attack. Dash attack. Yeah, get your little version. Exactly, and it's hard to get those like down tilt dash attacks against a character that's almost nearly always in the air. Mm -hmm. But I feel like the way that Loaf is playing is kind of forcing Umeki to play slightly closer to the ground than usual. Shield is looking a little low here oh. for Loaf, but a grab is going to help him at least get a couple more hits in. Yeah, that was so good, too. Went for that grab in the middle of that down tilt animation starting, too. Loaf, uh, very aware of the strings that is possible with this character. I love I love seeing this kind of very smart play. Against I this love character. the threatening use of turn up. Oh, not uh, just not going to throw it out please just no. yet. <laughs> oh, that's the first time I've seen him probably miss a turn. <laughs> did he even put eye drops? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Did, did he? He needed to reset a little yeah. bit. Yeah, you know, I might need to reset your systems real quick. But yeah. Right now, Yumeki still the shield pressure is dangerous right now, but low. Not afraid to keep running back at him. Yeah, yeah. E even at like higher percents too, it feels like the pressure. Wow, okay. Good up smash. Yeah, yeah. And and there's a good reason why that we see these up smashes too, is because Loaf is really applying a lot of pressure onto Emeki, regardless, right? Staying yeah. right on top. All right, a little Down bit of damage. Back here. Mm -hmm. Look for a golf swing. No. Not dead quite yet. Oh, okay. Oh, oh okay. Wow, Loaf, you are I love so it. ambitious. I love that action. Yeah, I, I like that. It, uh, you're, and you're right, too, right? It's like these situations that are so tight where if you misstep, you can, like, die. And Loaf is all for it. Oh, yeah. Loaf is like, oh, I love I love the smell of danger. <laughs> yeah, actually. I am the danger, actually. <laughs> Loaf is the danger right now, especially with Waft ready to go right here. Will we see it, though? Will we I don't know if we'll see it this game. I mean, all you've got to do is try and secure the stock quickly so that way this Waft can still play a huge factor, maybe getting this first, the second game. Wow. The aggression right here from Loaf, it just does not stop. And Umeki sniffs that out. Luckily, doesn't have to <laughs> smell the Waft. It's, it's not a very pretty smell, I'll tell you that. Yeah, yeah. Just have to scout out these uh, rolls from the ledge, these aggressive options that Loaf has been doing to really try to put Umeki back onto the ground. It, yeah. it, it is really good counter adaptation, even though Umeki did win game one. Yeah. I mean, these close counter interactions are everything right now, and Loaf has been demonstrating some really good shield pressure, but Umeki just being a little more evasive, and of course, you know, Daisy having the potential to kind of just float around and kind of like choose when she would like to land, when she would like to get in. Right. The movement is always just ambiguous. Right? Ambiguous movement. Yeah. You and never guess where it's going to go. Right. And then Loaf also, like, when he does, like, a rising aerial on the shield, we saw that up smash. So exactly. it's like, it's like, Umeki always has an answer. All right. Kicking it off to game three, running it back here to PS2. And just like that, Loaf continuing aggression. But Umeki is going to keep on the wow. chains. That is an 83 chain. Yeah, that is uh, not what you want to see after actually having that advantage state, too. One, right, one reversal, and you don't want that to happen. The Daisy Bomber make it back onto the stage. Auto cancels it. And the trade, Loaf does not stop holding forward. And I love it. Just 
just like that. Gets the forward throw here. Loaf looking to get the edge guard. Bike is now on stage, looking to maybe get an oh, try to get something. Going. He's so spicy. I can't, I can't handle the spice from Loaf. This is some spicy <laughs> bread. Oh, <laughs> almost a DBZ moment right there too. But yeah. the players living. I like how both of them just ran forward, and Loaf oh. actually was the one that had the discipline not to push a button right there because Umeki immediately like did a back air. Nice, oh. F-Tilt, there it is. Yes, yes. Nice, low. Stop coming at me, I will push a button. All right, there's another turn of throw, but oh. here comes the combo. Damage, too. Oh, if he would've got that second hit. I don't know, could be damage. Yeah. Okay, Rising Fair not, got away with it, too, and Bite really, like, we talked about being ambiguous before, right? Bite, or Bite really helps out those situations. Loaf. Wow. Oh. Angled up the bike. Yes. People that forget. Good. You can shield yourself from hits because of that. <gasps> oh, and Dakli nice. with the turn of Z drop? All right. Nothing too great, but the bike's still proving its worth. Parasol, Nair. All right. Okay. Fair enough. Scary but, situation for Meki. But Loaf is looking so good right now, right? He, he's getting out to the bread. <laughs> not, not just the loaf, he wants the whole bakery. Yeah, he does. <laughs> it started at 4 a.m. today, man. I'm taking the whole <laughs> <Yeah>. thing. <laughs> I had my morning coffee, and now it's time for uh, some real deals to come out here. Forward throw. Looking to get this edge guard. Loaf has been playing really well this game three and is going to continue the pressure. Trying to catch Mechie in the skies. Yeah, nice. The reversal right here catches with the fair, too. That's so good. I love the pressure. He just does not stop with it, too. Gets away from these situation right here. Omeki not on top with the turn up combos, but maybe we'll see something else here. Wow, okay. Still managed to get that grab on the platform despite missing the turn up throw. Nice. Yeah, that toad is not going to hit. Good yeah. patience there from, from Loaf. And hold oh, on. Look at he picked, why did he pick it up? He thought about it. <laughs> yeah, he really did. He's like, do I throw it up? Nah, he just threw it back out. Up throw, up air, of course, to confirm. Really tried to scout out that up tilt, and if he hit it, it would have been game three to Loaf. It's so scary because that waft can be everything for Loaf. Why is he so good at, with the items? Item play is insane. Yeah, with, when you're playing a stubby character like this too, like you gotta know how to play with the items. Oh, he, he went, went, for, went it. for it. I yeah. love that. But, you know, got a whole stock to play with here. Even if Loaf doesn't manage to get it here, he can still try and find a way in. Okay, the bike. Oh, nice mix-up right there. The speed. Ooh, the <laughs> so, so we give him a ticket. <laughs> Cops are going to pull him over. Yeah, uh, Meki is a cop right here. Uh-oh. End him. Oh. That might do it. Yeah, that's it. Wait. Oh, okay. That turnip may have almost saved Loaf, but luckily missing, getting Loaf the stock out, but oh, oh, the turn of combos, the late hit on the throw. Yeah, the slight reset right there in that situation. It still works out for Umeki, and this man's processing oh. things. A million, a million moves a minute. Oh my goodness, and great recovery from Umeki, avoiding getting slapped by Wario, but uh, the back end is strong and Loaf's on the board. Yeah, and and I've been waiting for like these back airs to really like connect too, because Loaf hasn't really been tossing them out, right? Like, we're talking about, like, okay, a rogue back here might be able to pick up a Meki from moment to moment, but Loaf uh, usually has been sticking to the ground and yep. very disciplined, and if anything, it's just fair, which is not that lethal. Also just got word from, uh, I don't know if chat's telling the truth here. I actually got this word, Chase beat Wrath. Oh, no way. Chase is going to fight Zomba in Winter's Quarters. Nice. That is crazy. Big fan of Chase, by the way. Also, other upsets. Cosmos over Luis, 3-2. Oh, no. And Don't tell me that. Show beat Shrudik, 3-2. Okay. We a lot of game fives in this round one top 48. I know. I, and, and also, we're still on this one, too, right? Like, that's a lot of matches that's that's been happening off stream. Dude, what a dude! What a, Cosmos is in winner's quarters. Don't doubt the man ever again. No, I don't want any of you chatters ever posting about. We need a Cosmos apology for him now. <laughs> man came here with a mission. <laughs> the LCQ version of Cosmos this is, is actually vindictive. And this is the Gulag, right? If you're it's the gulag. if you're here for Watch the Throne and you want to like qualify for Watch the Throne through this event, like you have to go through so many amazing players here and also hope for their downfall too right like you want them to get upset cosmo said i'm not the one i will be up there at the top and just like that loaf is gonna get countered to hollow bastion i do see yumeki uh choosing the stage a lot pretty good stage too for peach too um oh gosh but loaf 
I don't think the aggression has ever slowed down since the game one. No. He's still going crazy. Yeah, and uh, realistically, I think this is should be the way that you play against like Peach or Daisy, right? Like, it's just the stock. Oh, oh, the fade. <sighs> so close to getting that back here, but great air movement from Yuma, uh, from Umeki. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I just like have to commend Loaf too for like these situations. Uh, I, Oh, oh, no, please, don't let it be. What? Right. The turnip conversion to fair is going to help him get the stock. Up smash. Up smash. Wow, that is not a move that you see Warriors throw out, too. Both of these both of these players are really just throwing out these moves that never really happen. The, the combos are going crazy right now about it, Umeki right now. Yeah, really playing super. Man, hyper aggressive right here. Look at all these float cancels. The fly unfly from uh, Umeki. Oh, nice. Good patience there. Waiting out. Maybe something aggressive, but once again, Loaf now back at the ledge. Has to recover. Does have a bike, though. Nice. Did you see the way that he came up with that up air, the dash attack? Loaf does not stop. The aggression is still there, even if he's off stage. The linebacker sack dash attack Ooh. to close it out. Umeki already. Nice. Back to the center of the stage right here for Loaf. Umeki does not want anything to do with these up airs. Might have to take another one, though. Oh, an air? Yeah, these air to airs are ridiculous right here from Loaf. It's also kind of crazy how long that uh, that side B comes out from the Peach Daisy. Oh, yeah. That thing lasts forever. Like, yeah. You can punish it, but that last very hitbox can be a little uh, intrusive. Sometimes. Exactly. Nice. So you're really utilizing the platform right there, telling Loaf he can't land. All right, a little bit of a mix-up thanks to hitting the bike right there. And the shield poke with the fair. What? Alright, last stock here. But, oh, oh no! Great. That was a good DI actually there from Meki. Dodging potential oh, death. My gosh. He just keeps dribbling it. I didn't know I didn't know Loaf was a basketball player. <laughs> Bro is the point guard. Oh jeez. He's actually the point guard for the Minnesota Timberwolves. You see <laughs> Loaf, he's dribbling the ball up and he's getting these narrow conversions, almost getting a bite. Yeah, trying to go for a little bit of a cheeky reset right there. And Umeki, okay, I love it. Just taking that back air rather than getting strung up right across the stage. Loaf is playing really smart, even though he's playing so quick. Oh, the is coming out, but Umeki also, the aggression coming out with the back airs, keeping everything afloat right now, uh -huh. playing everything safe. The turnip is threatened. All right, nice air to air situations. Those are the back oh, airs. This is where this is where you make your money. Yes, the patience right here. Okay, are you gonna go straight to it? Oh, nice. oh, yes. Okay. Oh, but he gets another back air. Ooh. Oh. Oh, no. no he's jump. fine, though. Yeah, the jump there was so scary. Oh, oh I ah. like the B reverse chop, but it's not going to connect. Yeah, okay. Not, not getting hit by the forward air right here. Umeki, really, this is. I've never seen Umeki look so stressed before. Like, you see this play? Ooh. These up smashes. I like the movement right now. Very micro spacious right now. Not trying to give out too much. Oh. How are these rogue hits happening? Nice, Straight back great back catch. Oh, we went for the down air. Wow, what an ambitious down air. Okay, off stage, let's see the turn up hit. Nope, not able to hit it now. Nice, oh, it gets a chop on the landing. Oh my goodness, He's okay. going for it. All these hits really oh. add up. Nice, makes it back onto the stage. Not the tech zone though. Nice, oh, what a catch. Don't give him a turn up. You've seen what this man can do. Oh. Off the stage. The Wario twist. The turnip almost landing. Loaf! Oh, they get the dash attack! The whiff punish! Let's the go! The game bot and the bop off from Loaf! That was so good. The amount of, gosh, amount of rogue, like, air to airs that happened right there for Loaf was kind of crazy, right? It was just call out after call out after call out. And Loaf finding so. There were so many edge guards. Umeki, so good at recovering, but Loaf, so good at staying grounded when it came down. So lunchtime, he is feasting with these games. Right, yeah, scouting out the double jump is such a good thing to happen right there, too. So many times, Senzumeki offstage has to parasol, er, uh, parasol early. Yeah. And from there, like, okay, I know what your mix is. You're either left or right, right? <laughs> yeah. At that point, and with such great air acceleration, Wario can catch that character. He can. Ladies and gentlemen, a game five is upon us. Meki thinking about what stage to take Loaf as he is just playing hot right now. I don't think he's thinking about dropping his eye drops. Bring out the eye drop. The eye drops might be uh, required for these turnips to start connecting, but Loaf is just on it right now. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, like, this is what I was saying. 
that I like the aggression coming out from Loaf, right? Where the going for these aired airs, really trying to like push Umeki off of the off of the air and into the ground and play a little bit more of a grounded game to use the good tools that Warrior has on the ground. Absolutely. Granted, it's not like amazing, amazing, right? But down tilt, dash attack, still a threat, always. And also just, just a raw dash attack that like we saw at the last stock that game. It, it pulled through. Yeah. I mean, this has been an exceptional set. This tournament has been exceptional. Anything to bring out the best in people, especially when they're playing at their best. A lot of people talk about, you know, you play sets on stream, you feel like a different being. And I think both these players can agree that stream power-ups are real because when you see game five between two players at the top of their game, oh, coin toss is actually just, it's scary. Yeah, we did see a 3-0 right before this. Didn't expect this to really go out all the way. Actually, I kind of was. Loaf is, Loaf is so down to just push buttons. Just so, so down. And the fact that like he's able to keep up with Umeki and kind of like tracking exactly yeah. like where Umeki is going to be. Like hitting, hitting with the starting hit of like Nair 1 mm -hmm. on Umeki in a lot of situations is kind of like, whoa. You tracked him like that? Like, wow. We're going crazy right now. Yeah, actually, game number five. A little bit of, little bit of heartache right here for Emeki. See if he can pull through and keep it together. With but, the uh, Hollow Bastion theme playing, this is when you know it's final boss music. It seems as Emeki is trying to really close out this set and avoid the potential reverse 3-0 coming out from Loaf. Right. Yeah. And now both players have to be just so aware of how each other move. But look how how fast these guys are playing against each other exceptional and right now both players understanding the stakes that it takes to win these games the patience is going to have to be at an outwardly oh, level oh what an aggressive down air too no one no one expected it it should have been an air all right all right, all right great tech away there yeah and no chase with the dash uh dash grab too mechie really wanted to extend it much further there's the first turn up no caught i don't want to see low with the turn up he's terrifying <laughs> he's so scary with it Oh, grab? Gosh, these moments where Loaf even gets a grab. Like, you know how hard it is to grab Peach or Daisy? Yeah. It is so hard. All right. This can be the snipe. Nice. Loaf makes it back. Pressure. Recovery and a oh. grab, too. Yeah. Wow. Loaf is really playing well. But it is it is in Umeki's favor, right? Already 144%. Oh, no. Oh that my! Nair doesn't kill quite yet, but it's scary when you're Daisy. Yeah, there it is. Another foot to the face. Uh, no one wants to see that. Not Wario's. Just like that. Umeki looking to maybe even up the stocks. Sloaf looking for a little bit of insurance right now. Yeah, look at the way the parry. Hello? Who's parrying Peach back air? Bro has quickness. Yeah. 51 unanswered. All right, nice, great. These grabs are just all hitting the mark too. They're they do not usually like happen too, especially with the way that Umeki knows how to space it. There's a back air out of shield, but not enough to seal the deal right here. But can we find? No, we can't. We can't find it. We can't find this first stock. All right, oh, okay. back air will finally get it. 77 percent. No. Loaf looking to make quick work of the second stock because you know Waft is going to be prepared to get the game winner for Loaf. Yeah. Umeki understands you do not want war. Oh Whoa. my god. I was, you know what? I was you just know? about to say that like Loaf is not afraid to just let it rip for no reason. And he just does that exact thing. Uh, you know, I think it's it's totally fine still because I think Wario is still able to get another Waft back it, depending on the duration of how this game goes. Right, yeah. They are playing at such a pretty like high pace, but we are like what, we're now four minutes into the game, or sorry, it, it's four minutes left, so these stocks are taking quite a while. Yeah, and that's just kind of how the matchup goes, especially when you deal with Wario. Wario's a scary character to just kind of run in on. Right. Okay, nice, great, float away, and the dash grab afterwards. Not finding the marks on these tech chases, though. Meki, uh, not on it. Oh, great late nair there. Not going to quite find the kill just yet. Mm. All right. The movement is really pulling through for Emeki now. And I don't know if, if it's because Loaf is slowing down. Loaf. All right. Emeki with the turn up right now. Needs to look for this edge guard. Yeah. Yes. Great catch with the fair. Oh. So, oh. Un so unafraid. How do you do it? He's dead. How do you do it, Loaf? How do you Loaf? do it? And just like that, Emeki on his last stock. Can Loaf complete the reverse 3-0 and advance to winner's quarters of Genesis Black?
And it, it's totally possible. I actually believe in Loaf. Oh, nice. Oh, my goodness. The damage is being racked up 28%. The Daisy Bomber not going to find anything. Loaf continuing to hold on for dear life. The Nair Train coming out. But I just love the fact that Loaf is so confident in stopping the startup of Fair, right? Like, yeah. this is what these, fa like, what Loaf's Fairs are for, are to catch her Fairs. All right. There's a Nair. Not lethal, though. You got you to gotta get the strong hit on the get-up attack. Mechie, trying oh. to dodge. Loaf. Oh, the air dodge. Yeah, both of them. Air dodging in such awkward positions. All right, nice. Great catch, but not enough to, to kill. Another amazing catch from Loaf. Still has the bike. Tosses the turn up high. Actually, Loaf's item play is ridiculous. Loaf is actually taking full advantage of this lead right now. Just getting little hits day in, day out. Umeki looking for something. At watch. 186, yeah. Wario. Yeah, watch out for the WAF too. It is still, it is live again. Hey, the trade right the here. Trade, but un hey, luckily for Loaf, that is going to be big damage. Daisy at 108. No. Look, don't tell me. He's going to look for the WAF. It's incoming. Chat, brace yourself for a rocket launch because Loaf is looking to take Umeki to the skies. Oh, the air dodge way. He can't. <laughs> Chase so happy in the back right there. He's, he knew he, he knew he's he got it. He's his right, right now. Oh, he's such so shaky. He's a Wario. Yeah, that oh gosh. I can see how shaky Loaf's hands are too, unplugging his controller. Bro, I'm like that too. Yeah, he's like, oh, no, no. <laughs> Bro, I'm he heard me. you, man. Yeah. Like, oh my goodness. Yeah, that was uh really intense. That was just so much confidence right there from Loaf. I know his hands were shaking at the oh, end right dude, there. Absolutely. But did you see the amount of confidence he had to stop the startup affair? Yes. Like, to put yourself in the position to be like, okay, if I fair 